Hi, my name is Brad Henderson, and this is my act. When you first got started in magic, you remember the way magic made you feel? But as we started learning, that feeling disappeared. What was once wonder became appreciation. We started losing the magic and focusing on techniques. Well, there are some strategies that will help you rediscover where that real magic still lives. And you can use these techniques to make your magic more unique and impactful. In my act, we start with a 13-card triumph where we get the audience on our side and, and build confidence and trust. Then we move to an impossible in-the-hands coin transposition where we turn the analytical mind from an obstacle into an asset. Next up is one of the great card tricks of all time, the birthday diary. Here, we explore how the fundamental techniques of art can be used to convey an impactful and deep feeling for response. What's the card on your birthday? The Ten of Clubs. You shuffled the card. You dealt from the top to bottom the middle. You decided when to stop. I say because you could change your mind, but you didn't want to. Turn it over. <laughs> so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Next is the two in the hand, one in the pocket, but with some tips and techniques that you will add that will make any version of this trick you do automatically better. Doesn't matter what you Eight. say. It's going to be wrong. I don't know why. <laughs> Next up is a classic of magic, the sponge bunnies, which we use to illustrate how we can create real magic experiences in the minds and hearts of our audiences. Whoa. So we're there. Ah! <laughs> and finally, we end up with the chop cup, a trick that I've been working on since I was 10 years old. And I think I've got some strategies with structure that will change the way you think about this piece. I spent a lot of time on these tricks and ideas, and I hope by sharing them, I can help you make your magic more unique and more impactful. Come along and join me here at Penguin Live.